Hi, welcome to boardshop.co.uk. Uh, Surfboard review time again. Uh, latest Tomo model here, the SKX, ready to look at. Been surfed yesterday. Um, really interesting board. First, more conventional kind of short board shape from Tomo with Firewire, um, but it's a user friendly all rounder that will work for an awful lot of people who um, want to ride a standard short board, get off that hybrid uh, when the wave's a bit better. So, a little look around it. Um, relatively flat rocker, a um, little bit of tail lift, nose lift, not too much, not like an old school short board. The volume's pretty evenly distributed. There's still a bit of um, foam in the nose, some in the tail under your back foot. So it is uh, a sensible short board, if you like. <coughs> if you've surfed a sci-fi or you've got a sci-fi, sometimes when it's a bit bumpy or conditions aren't quite right, the sci-fi feels a bit too skatey. There's so much lift in that board that the tail feels skatey that it's gonna slide away a little bit too much. The SKX is far more sure-footed than that, and so is more adept at dealing with, like I said, bumpy, more onshorey, more sectiony type conditions. Um, saying that, it's still a very responsive, high-performance shortboard. The signature um, monoplaning hull, the uh, single concave with four inside it, uh, Tomo's kind of signature trick with his, uh, his boards that make the monoplaning hull work generates lots of lift, lots of speed and it's that lift and speed together with the tail profile and the rail profile that helps the board, helps you drive the board off the back foot. You've, you've probably seen Stu Kennedy surfing it on the world tour. Um, I'm not going to say you're going to surf it just like him but you can see the potential of the board. It's more forgiving, it's a really good paddler uh, surfed here in bumpy waves a couple of days ago and it was incredible how well it paddled for a lowish volume conventional shortboard. So this is the 6.0, 31 and a half litres. Um, if you read all the garb on the internet and Tomo, they'll tell you to bump up um, half, half a litre to maybe a litre. Um, if you're between a 5.8 and a 5.9 then go up. Um, from experiencing it, Taking into account your heavy winter wetsuit and stuff, we get that, but actually bumping up a liter or an inch, you know what volume you're, you want to surf, stick to that. You don't need to actually go any higher. Uh, the board works, it paddles well, it catches waves really well, and it's still got that responsive element to it. Now, um, a lot of people ask, oh, are the SKX and the Gamma, what's the difference? Are they the same thing? Well, there's a Gamma behind me, um, which I'll grab just for a second to explain that point a little bit. So the Gamma, the first difference is the Gamma's in helium technology. So it's, it's floatier, it's strong, it's fast, it's light, it's good technology. But the equivalent between the two boards, whereas you'd go for a 6.0 at 31.5 litres um, in the SKX, you'd actually go down to the 5.10 in the Gamma to 30 litres to get the same feel. Um, just because the nature of the technology and you know to the layman the shapes look pretty similar squash tail um, decent bit of volume in the nose but there's more rocker in the nose of the gamma <coughs> and that helium does make a big difference so that's just a little comparison for you um, if you're thinking between the two boards and think about what length you're more comfortable with etc 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 so um, in conclusion the SKX is a really super usable performance short board. If you're looking for that wave, uh, that board to take on better days at home or you're traveling or what have you, um, <clears throat> and you don't, want a, you don't want a hybrid that's gonna be a bit slower, a bit cumbersome, slow rail to rail, then the SKX is a really, really good option. It's gonna be an enduring board, I think. It's gonna be around for a few years. It's not gonna be one of those ones that just fades away uh, because it actually does work for people who aren't pro surfers and aren't brilliant surfers. Uh, for a good intermediate surfer, you will enjoy yourself on this board, especially as the waves get better, the board goes better and better. Um, so there it is, Tomo's SKX for Firewire, in stock right now, uh, ready to roll. <coughs> you can of course trade in your old board against one of these, uh, do not percent finance, all the details of all the good stuff we do uh, are on the website, including the ride out guarantee. And if you want to see more videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can see even more of me. Thanks for watching.